how would they use little tiny miniature labs to, to make them this small? Yeah, they did. They use they have little baby labs. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Breed Review. I'm your host, Liam Murphy, and today we're going to be reviewing the miniature Labadoodle. This is Abby. She's a miniature Labadoodle. She's very small. She's about eight to nine pounds. Very fluffy. She's got hair, not fur. So the Labadoodle is considered a designer breed. They were bred primarily for people who have allergies to dogs. They're a very allergy friendly dog. Their hair doesn't shed. Again, it's hair, not fur, which means you have to get them groomed a lot. The hair keeps growing. It's not like a regular dog's fur. Most doodle crosses nowadays have 75% poodle in them. So she's basically a poodle. However, she does have lab in her, if you can believe that. Now, how would they use little tiny miniature labs to, to make them this small? Yeah, they did. They use, they have little baby labs. No, that's not true. They use miniature poodles with an existing labadoodle, a small one, and then they just kept scaling it down until they got consistent little tiny baby abbeys here. So let's get into health. These guys are a very healthy breed. As long as you provide consistent exercise and a good healthy diet, there's no reason these dogs shouldn't live a long, healthy, happy life, and I mean like 12 plus years. Overall health for the miniature Labadoodle, I'm gonna give it five stars. Temperament, really sweet temperament. As you can see, Abby here, she's very, very sweet. And the ones, and I've worked with quite a few of these guys and I've found them all to be the same, very consistent. Very friendly, great with other dogs, and excellent, excellent with kids to make an excellent family pet. Now the cons for temperament for me is that they are very barky, extremely vocal. They will bark a lot. They'll drive you nuts with it. If they hear, a, if they hear any little sound outside, they're going to bark at it. When you're driving by people with a dog, they're going to bark at it. They are heavy, heavy barkers. Other than the barking, I really don't see a whole lot wrong with these guys temperament-wise. Like I said, they're very sweet. They're loving, they're affectionate. They're just a fun little dog to have. Temperament, 4.5. Next up, we'll talk about activity level. Very active dog. If there's good weather for them, they can go out in just about anything other than your severe cold, and you gotta be careful in the heat, like all dogs. They do have a lot of hair, however, they are small, and you wanna be careful in the very cold temperatures, especially if there's deep snow. Imagine if you have six inches of snow, that's gonna be right up to her chest and keeping her, her vitals extremely cold. So you wanna be, you wanna use caution in the snow and the cold weather and also in the heat as well. They do swim. They are a water dog. Swimming's a great low impact activity for them. I'd say they're a great fit for active individuals and families. They make great kayaking companions. Then it's certainly not going to tip you over and they can swim. So if you're not very good at it like me and you fall in the water, they can swim you to shore. They can rescue you. This dog will rescue you if you have too many beers and you tip your kayak over. Okay, that probably not. Don't do that. Don't drink and kayak with your dog. Leave the dog home to drink and kayak. Four stars for activity. Trainability. These dogs are very, very, very smart. They come from two very intelligent breeds, the Poodle, which is one of the most intelligent dogs out there, and the Lab. So they can learn a lot of different things, a lot of tricks. They're a great trick dog. They also can learn the basics very quickly. They are very smart, so you want to get them into a training program very early. And having a well-trained dog will make your life a lot easier and happy going forward. Trainability, I'm going to give these guys a 4.5. But wait, there's more. Grooming. But just be aware that there is a lot of work that goes into owning a dog like this when it comes to grooming. So I'm gonna add another category for grooming. I'm gonna give them a score of two, meaning that they need a lot of it. If they didn't, like a, say a lab, they get like a score of like a four and a half. So the Labadoodle, I'm gonna give a score of two because it requires so much grooming. So that's it, that's the miniature Labadoodle. This is Abby, we really thank you Abby for coming along. I love this dog, I, I think these dogs are great. I would totally own this dog in a heartbeat. I'll be giving them the score of 4.0. 4.0, not bad, pretty good. Not bad, it's a great score. You should be proud, Abby. Thank you for representing the breed so well. Great family dog, great companion dog. The pros, it's an active, fun-loving, great family dog. The cons would be it's a very bocky dog and it's a very and it's a dog that requires a lot of grooming. So take that for what it's worth. Little bocky, but super sweet. Thank you guys so much again. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks again so much. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Thanks so much. Bye guys. Come on, Ab.
was a sight for my soul. I 